Good morning. So we are going to start this maths lesson with just looking at some of the mistakes that were made on Monday and Tuesday. Now this mistake was made by a lot of people and I corrected an awful lot of um, answers that this mistake was made in. Um, and this mistake, every time I teach money, this always comes up. So here I've got some coins. And the question is, how much money do I have? So I've got to count that money up. I've then got to type it into the box using the correct signage, using the correct decimal point. So this is what quite a few people did last week. They counted up the money, two, four, six, six pound, two pence, six pound, four pence, six pound, five pence. They typed in the box, you, oh, Use their pound sign, six pound, decimal point, and five pence. Press pause on the video if you'd like to know, and have a think about why that answer is incorrect. And I'm going to show you why it's incorrect, and what the correct answer should be. So here, I have a place value chart. Except it looks different to the place value charts that you're used to seeing in um, school because it's got the decimal point in there. Now, in the ones column, that's for the single digit pounds that we've got, any full pounds. So six pounds would go into that column. The tens column is for when the amount of money gets above um, £9.99. Anything £10 or above, then we'd use that column to show that as well. We've then got the decimal point to show the difference between the pounds and the pence. Um, and then we've got this column here called the tenths. Now, the tenths column are for those numbers that are smaller than one whole, but not as small as a hundredth in there. So um, any 10p's and 20p's would go into that column. And then the hundredth column here is for those pennies um, that are that are much smaller than the ones and the tenths in there. So let me show you and it, it will make more sense me actually completing it. So if I count it up again I've got six pounds and five pennies. Now there are a hundred pennies in a pound. Um, that's really important to know. So the easy part to start with is to put my six pound in the ones column. Now the five P is tricky because as I put it in this box, it looks like I've done that there. Now, five tenths is actually 50. So now it looks like six pounds and 50 pence. Whereas it's not, I've got six pounds and five pence. So I haven't yet got any of those 10 Ps in my amount. So I don't just leave it blank, I have to put that placeholder there, that zero there, which shows that I haven't got any of those tenths. Now, I can put the pennies in here, and I've got five in there. So just looking back, I've got six pound, no 10 p's, and I've got five one p's. Now if I go back and write that and correct it in the box here, I still require my pound sign, because I've got pounds, and it shows that I'm working with money, I've still got six pounds, and I've still put my decimal point, but now I need to include this zero to show that there's no tens um, in this amount here, and then my five as well. So now, hopefully you can see there's a difference between what I had before and what I've got now. Now some people started to type it like this, like this, to show that there is none of these £10 here. Now you can do that, it means the same amount. However, we don't do that because really there's no £100 and there's no £1,000 and there's no £10,000 and you could go on forever. We only use that zero as that placeholder to make sure that we can see that there's no 10 pences there. Okay, so in the next few slides, 
I want you to have a go with exactly what I've just done and see if you can get more fluent with typing those um, numbers out.